Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Leo. So I feel like somebody is going within right now and you're choosing to walk away from someone for good or you're choosing to separate from someone. Definitely could be a divine feminine energy. <clears throat> the Nine of Swords. This is uh, an energetic uh, departure is what I heard. <laughs> I don't know if someone is taking a trip, taking a flight, but it feels like that's what's happening here. You're taking flight. I feel like someone has had a person in their energy. I don't actually feel that for many of you, this is someone like currently in your life. If I'm being completely honest, you may be feeling right now like you need to remove someone from your life. I don't think that the person that's in your life physically, if you're dealing with someone especially, is the culprit here. They're not. There's someone that lives rent free in your mind that manipulates you constantly makes you feel very doubtful perhaps even insecure each time you get into this energy of the queen of wands of being very optimistic about the future moving forward you then find yourself stuck confused stagnant depressed full of anxiety this is because there is somebody here that loves to play on your crown chakra someone is constantly getting into your energy Like making you feel like you're just a loser. This person wants to ensure it's a pattern here. Every single time you get optimistic about a new project, a new person, an opportunity, you fall into this five of pentacles. You take a loss. Every time you take a step forward, you take a step back. You may be running into a lot of people who are very toxic People who have addictions, people who are confused about whether or not they want to be with you. This is some type of, uh, honestly, it's like you're dealing with some kind of entity here. There's a dark spirit. But I said in a reading the other day, and when I realized this, it completely changed my life. Like, how I show up and how I conduct myself spiritually as well as in my just earthly human experience, okay? When you hold on to a pain so tightly, whether knowingly or unknowingly, and you could be consciously or unconsciously doing it, that pain will manifest itself into becoming an actual entity in your life. Let me explain. <clears throat> Let's say you have a person broke your heart. Okay. You could have had several heartbreaks. Your heart could be so shattered and broken that that hole in your heart is constantly being filled with this very, very dark spirited energy. And darkness will feed off of anything dark. Some of you, you're very pure. You know, you're, you're celibate, you're abstaining. You may have a, the perfect workout routine, diet and all of that. But spiritually, something here is unhealthy. And what it is, is the fact that now thinking about a departure, some of you, you left a person or they left you. You could have traveled away from this person, relocated. Someone here has a really, just a big stain a big, on their heart. It's a big wound here. And because you have this regret, this resentment, 
this disappointment, this heartache, this pain or whatever, it's manifesting in your life in multiple energies. This is the reason why some people you'll go through something bad in your life and it seems that you keep being introduced to the same person over and over. It's because this situation has set up shop in your subconscious mind. This right here is like, for some of you, especially who are trying to manifest love, every time you get with a new person, there is one person that is always in your mind. Always. That person is not in your mind because they're good for you. They're not in your mind because you're meant to go back to them. They're not in your mind because you're meant to manifest something with them or you're meant to wait on them. They're in your mind because you are so afraid of the situation with that person manifesting again that the terror that that is in your subconscious mind about the situation repeating itself is showing up. I keep I've been talking about this a lot. And some of you, I'll be honest, it's not a tarot reader that you need. You need therapy. And there is nothing wrong with that. Abuse, narcissistic abuse, Stockholm syndrome, all of those things are very real. And sometimes it's not tarot that you need. Tarot can help you to see certain things behind the veil or whatever hidden things. But a lot of people need cognitive behavioral therapy to really change how you think about certain situations. And here in the tarot community, and I've, I've been speaking out about it and I don't care who, who dislikes it. Hearing these stories and constantly reliving this trauma over and over and over again is keeping people stuck. You see it, the hermit, you're stuck, you're in isolation. You're healing. Okay, cool. You go and you meet a person, king of swords. This person could be nice, noble, fair, just. You get excited. Boom, you hit the five of pentacles. It's like everything was cool just a week ago. Now you're down and out. You feel left out in the cold. You feel rejected and abandoned. Every single time you run into something good, all of a sudden your fears of being in a financial hardship, your fear of being rejected, hurt, abandoned, cheated on, seven of cups, someone having multiple options, it takes over your mind. Then you will walk away from somebody that's probably not even bad. That's exactly what this entity wants you to do. And then you realize, okay, I walked away from another good situation because honestly, this is self-sabotage. Let's let's be real about it. Let's talk about real shadow work and healing. Let's stop walking around the issue. Divine feminines and masculines are sabotaging good connections because you're not fully healed from your karmic situations. I said it. If you don't like it, so be it. But that's the truth. You get back in this energy. I'm I'm happy. I'm passionate. Let me go after life. Boom, you fall right back into the same slump. Why? Because this pain, this fear of this person hurting you, of this abusive person finding you, of you feeling the same type of pain that you felt when you were a child from parents, siblings, whatever. That's keeping people stuck and bound. You have to get this, this energy out of your energy. And the only way to get rid of this darkness is with more love and light. You have to stop being, you have to stop hating this person or this situation. Some of you have had at least five significant relationships in your life and they've all been karmic. 11, 11 on the clock as I just said that. When you realize that, hmm, I signed up for this life. I signed up for these lessons. 
I've gone through five to seven years, maybe even more for some people, of karma, dealing with a person or a situation, dealing with heartache. But guess what? I never would have had the wisdom that I have now to be able to move into healthy connections, break generational curses, and inspire other people around me had I not gone through this. As long as you're, when, when am I going to get justice? When am I going to, when is something going to happen to them? You're missing the point. You were meant, you were contracted to literally cross paths with the devil. To walk through hell for as long as you were assigned and contracted to be there. To learn about how things are there and to recognize that you are the one with the light. So being in a victim consciousness of, woe is me, that never should have happened to me. What do I do next? This is the re this is why it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. It's forward, it's backwards, it's forward, it's back. When do you finally just say, listen, I have the light, I have the love, I have the control. Bad spirit, energy, Satan, demon, devil, you cannot be here. Until you do that, you're going to be stuck in this cycle. It's too many people going back and forth, back and forth, and they don't understand why. It's not about the karmics around you. The devil or the inner enemy is going to use any person around you, friend, family member, lover. And it's not so much you're being tested by something dark. Some of you, because I keep hearing the term royal priesthood. Some of you, you come from a bloodline of shamans, wizards, good witches, high priests, high priestesses, preachers, whatever. If you couldn't go through this five to seven years of this karma, how on earth are you supposed to live the next 50 to 70 years or however long guiding other people, leading other people? This was nothing but a drop in the bucket. That's why I say, and I say that all the time to people, everybody wants to be divine feminine, divine masculine until it's really time to stand up and do divine feminine and masculine work. Divine feminines and masculines go decades in the dark. Before they have any type of glory day. The high priestess in the deck is, is in a row. The hierophant is in a row. You don't see them out flashing. It's a while before they can live their best life, as people like to say. You have to learn the lessons first. And those people who have such a problem with learning the lessons, stop talking about the journey then. You don't get to go on the journey and, and have your heyday, your glory day without going through the hell to learn the lesson. You don't get any badge of honor and you didn't win any battles. You don't earn any stripes at all. So stop complaining about it. You want to be divine. You want to be chosen. But when you have to come face to face with the devil, you don't want that part of it. That's not how this works. That is not how this works. You can't keep on going and knocking on the, the door of hell to talk to the devil and then you run scared every time. If you're going to go on and, and meet the devil face to face, you need to, tell, you need to step aside and let me come down here because I'm the one with the light. I get to walk through here and, and control everything in here. That's the attitude that you have to have. Otherwise, you're going to keep getting knocked down. I'm just, it's, it's Sunday, Tarot Church. It is what it is. Like, this has to stop. This isolation, this fear, it's consuming the minds of a lot of people. It's because a lot of people honestly don't know their purpose. People who know their purpose, they know pain comes with it. You don't have to stay stuck in pain. But you don't you don't get the good stuff without some of the bad stuff. The devil is in the reverse. What I just say, some of you you came face to face with the devil. 
through several different people. All of this is energy. When we speak of the devil, that's an energy. God, that's an energy. You keep coming into contact with the energy of the devil. You have to free yourself from this. And it's really, all it is, is changing your mindset. Look, this devil has, has it's controlling this person's mind. How do you think about situations is the reason why the worst situations of your, of your life are constantly being recreated. Thinking that tarot is going to save you and you keep listening to the same storyline over and over. That's why it keeps manifesting. <clears throat> As readers, we can't change what we're reading because it's what's happening in the collective energy and everyone is at a different place in their journey. But you can control what you do, what you say, what you listen to, where you go, what you do. It's your free will. There's too much instability here in the journey of divine beings because there's still a fear of facing yourself, realizing that you, you still have a fear of the devil. You still haven't fully accepted and embraced your power. And again, it's not just something dark that's testing you. Divine beings, high-ranking angels, ancestors, priests, they're testing you too. They're like, listen, you're, e you're easily shaken. We can't have you down there doing any work. Every time the devil comes, you, 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 you get scared. You run home crying. Two of swords, stalemate energy. There's a decision here that has to be made. Do you want to cross the burning sands or is it too hot for you? Everybody twin flame, twin flame. <laughs> Seriously? You know how long it takes people to actually come into a physical union with the twin flame? You meet them? <laughs> you thought that karmic was hard. Hmm, okay. <laughs> you, you thought that dealing with that karmic soulmate was rough. And I'm not talking about bad stuff. Shadow work, learning yourself, is way harder than you learning somebody else. Have you guys noticed that most of these karmic counterfeits here, you know that ex-lover of yours, you know that person, their family, their kids, whoever they're with, better than you know yourself. You know everything about their situation. You know everything about their legal problems. You know everything that's happening to those people behind the scenes. But how many times have you sat down to ask yourself, why the hell did you even meet that person? When you figure that part out, that's when the chains will fall off of you. I'm telling you, it's a it's a bunch of uh, uh, idolatry. Like everybody is idolizing people in situations that connect you to to the spirit of the devil. It's obsession. It's toxicity. Being obsessed with the drama because all the drama is is a distraction from you actually healing yourself. The tower in the reverse. This is a resistance to change. Somebody does not want this tower to fall. And, and and I'm saying all this, this may not be you. Maybe this is someone that you're connected to. Maybe this is the person in your energy. Please don't be offended. But somebody here does not want this karmic cycle or the, the chains, this bondage to be over. Somebody does not want that to happen. They want to stay stuck and bound to you. And this, a lot of you, it's an entity. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You have to let go of something. Or something has to let go of you. The Hierophant and the Hermit in the reverse. <laughs> Don't be afraid to be alone. But some of you need to, to get out of isolation. 
you're so withdrawn you're you're stuck in isolation and it, there's a whole like world a congregation a, a a community of people who would love to know about the knowledge that you've acquired on your journey but you're stuck afraid i'm picking somebody out here is on the run from an ex like you're actually afraid that this person is just going to show up at any time someone is really frightened and you need to take the proper steps to help you feel more safe because constantly facing hardship and loss you can't live like this I don't know. I did a, a, a reading last night and it'll be uploaded soon. I don't know when you may hear this reading, but I was actually picking up on a karmic feminine specifically. Someone with very low self-esteem, very wild in victim consciousness, always blaming everyone because of their family trauma this person that was in their reading this person loves knives i'm talking about a real violent vicious person who is so mad sad and unhappy because of their upbringing their life that they think they can just go around stabbing or threatening to stab people I was also picking up a karmic masculine struggling with their sexuality who pretty much wants a divine feminine to be their beard. <laughs> wants the most beautiful, most successful woman because they want to appear as if they are heterosexual when they're not. These are the types of people who don't want to let you go. And you can sit around and feel sorry for them and given to this, oh, they were raised this way and they had trauma. Those trauma bonds don't mean anything anymore. Everybody has trauma. You're either going to try to overcome it or it's going to forever control you. A lot of people literally are living in fear because of toxic, abusive relationships. Narcissistic abuse, having PTSD. You cannot go into a new relationship with anybody else being so afraid that someone is going to be violent with you, being so afraid that you're going to lose your finances because of a relationship. You have to admit that you got involved with those people at some point. And then you have to Pat yourself on the back that you got away from them. But seriously, and maybe it's tough love, but life has to go on. If they stole something from you, get it back. And understand, you may not ever get things back from the people who hurt you, stole from you, manifested in a different way. Do not limit yourself. You guys act like, oh, that person broke my heart. You act as though you need the, the person who broke your heart to be the one to come back and mend it. You can't go on with your life until they apologize. Why not just go out and be great? Be happy. Like, I just... <laughs> I'm so tired of this energy coming up and I'm pr I promise I'm not trying to be insensitive or offensive and people always say, oh, you make it sound like this. This listen, I, I've been through 10 years of, of pure hell emotionally. I'm not talking about something that I heard about. I'm telling you from a place of knowing, going through it, doing it. I've crossed the burning sands more than once. I wish that I could say my karmic cycle was only five to seven years. It was much longer than that. I don't speak from a place of wisdom because I heard I heard it somewhere. I heard it on the song on the song on the radio or from another reader. No, I, I walked through it.
I had to stand still on, on the on the burning sands. I didn't get to run across it, no. I had to drag my feet across it. That's the reason why certain readers can come on and they can tell you, hey, don't do not do that. Get out of it now. And then you hop in the comments, oh, you're so mean, you're so insensitive. No, I'm not going to sit here and keep encouraging you to be a victim. Be a survivor. Live. Thrive. Stop sitting still. It's nothing out here but poverty. Loss, isolation, bondage, inspiration and the lovers, ace of wands. And everybody out here wants to manifest love. Everybody wants to manifest a twin flame. Everybody wants to manifest the perfect union or relationship or soulmate. And there's nothing wrong with it. But if you're not at your best and you're not at a place of having some type of purity within yourself and a peace of mind you cannot manifest this god does not bring you a divine partner while you allow your karmic partner to live rent free in your brain all the time that's you cannot give the best of yourself to anybody you're not even giving yourself your best You have to be as passionate about starting over as you are in trying to dig up the dirt and find out why somebody set you back. It doesn't even matter anymore. Have you guys noticed that in the readings, there's always these elaborate detailed messages about what's going on with the karmics? They're living their life. <laughs> they're buying houses, cars, they're traveling. You know why they have drama? Because they're living. We're lucky when a good reading comes out about divine feminine and masculine doing something good. Because the divine feminine and masculine, honestly, they're sitting somewhere in isolation. Withdrawn from society. Scared to go back out into the world. That's the reason why the readings aren't talking about the good stuff. For divine feminine and masculine, divine feminine and masculine isn't living. A lot of them are simply existing. That's the reason why unions aren't happening. Divine feminine and masculine are sitting in the house in hermit mode. They're not out in the mix meeting each other. Building. They're still trying to lick their wounds from something that happened five years ago. And afraid that it's going to happen again. You cannot be afraid to live. You can't. Some of you have these psychic connections. Queen of Cups in reverse. All these spiritual and psychic connections that you have. You need to cut the cords to all of these people. People attached to you at a time when you were not even gullible. And they have not let go. You're going to have to rise up yourself now and say, no, you have to let me go. They won't let go because you're not forcing them to let go. Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords is in the reverse. This is a bunch of love bombing. People rush in. Every time they think that they're going to miss an opportunity with you, an opportunity to steal from you, a missed opportunity, uh, uh, they, they feel that, let, listen. I cannot even talk like Mercury Retrograde is destroying me. I've been like stuttering so bad <laughs> for like two days and my throat is just like closing. This person, someone keeps rushing in. Maybe this person stutters or they lie a lot. Hmm. I never thought about that. The communication is shaky. This person, somebody here stutters. I mean, I'm, I may mess up word, but I never stutter like that. Somebody here stutters. Nothing wrong with that. But they stutter, especially, I don't know. That's weird to me. That really just left me stumped. Because I'm getting two things. You have somebody that comes into your energy and they lie a lot. And they stutter. They're trying to block your path, but there's an energy... <laughs> 
there's an the energy of somebody else too that who, who is so afraid to miss an opportunity with you they have a lot to say but if they were to say what they wanted to say, to say to you they would probably stutter so bad because they're so afraid to miss an opportunity <sighs> somebody does not want to be left behind <laughs> There's two. I'm picking up two different energies here. Do you have a devil, and then you have a devil in the reverse? So you have somebody that's freeing themselves, and they're terrified to tell you how they really feel, how they want this passion new beginning with you. But then you have an actual devil that is actively trying to keep you stuck and bound to them. They stutter, or their communication is weird, also. Both of these people have communication problems. Seven of Cups, but it's in the reverse. But you're about to get clarity about this. You shouldn't be confused, especially about the past. Six of Cups. It's a major like reality check coming. And the Seven of Cups in the reverse, there are no more options. Like somebody is ready to choose their person. They're ready to take a leap of faith and choose. The two of cups and the lovers. And this is spirit telling you to, you have to choose. What is, who or what is it going to be? Whenever I see like the lovers and the two of cups, it's like some of you, if you notice on the lovers, they're not touching. Their hands don't touch. The two of cups, two people are here. They're both offering their cup. They're ready to break bread together. Some of you, you want to keep dealing with these situations where you and a person is some kind of spiritual contract, but you're never actually in union. It's, it's in your mind. Like, there is no union with this person. It's, it's an almost. Listen, almost doesn't count. I'll say it almost doesn't count. If you're not with them, it doesn't count. If you weren't with them in the past, it doesn't count. Half of these stories that we hear about these situations are with our situationships. There were never actual, like actual relationships. That's, that's what blows my mind. Half of these so-called karmic twin flame situations that people are so invested in, it was never even an official, exclusive, monogamous relationship. You mean to tell me that some kind of spiritual relationship is dictating and controlling your entire life? Hmm. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> You're mismanaging your own energy and time, if that's the case. Every reading is about a person that is not actively in your life. They're just in your energy. This full moon in Pisces is here to let, you better let go of this illusion here. This person is not in your life for a reason. And whatever type of halo you keep putting on this person's head to make them be more than what you think they are, you need to let it go. You have run into a devil. And you keep thinking that this is a twin flame and somehow they're just going to free you or you're going to free them. No. They were contracted to come into your life to create illusions and to destroy you and to teach you the wisdom, the knowledge and everything that you need to go into an actual sacred relationship, a real relationship with an actual life partner. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You have to let go of this idea that you have unfinished business with somebody that you never even really got into business with. Some of you, especially who are not bound to someone by children, what are you waiting on? Children is one of the main reasons why a lot of people who may not fully be like in love with each other, why they stick together. You're doing all of this for somebody that you're not actually physically connected to and you don't have children with them. Why? Ask yourself, why are you doing this? It's because you have PTSD. 
It's because you've had so many heartbreaks in your life, starting with your own family, possibly even your parents, that you have now become addicted to pain. Stockholm Syndrome. You now, for some people, you gravitate towards abusers. Because you're so afraid to be abused, you manifest abuse. It's a real thing. It's a, I'm telling you, it's a real thing. Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands in the reverse. It's an ongoing battle. This card says admitting defeat. Something here you need to admit. You couldn't win this one. But it's about your perspective. You keep looking at a situation like you didn't win it because you didn't get the person. You did win because you got the lesson. You didn't get the life with this person, but you got a lesson that's going to carry you through the rest of your life that you can pass on to your kids, 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 kids. So you did win. You got to stop telling yourself that you lost because you're draining yourself. And you're letting these entities, principalities, these demonic people and agents of the devil, you're letting them drain you too. Because you still feel like there is a there is no more battle here. My spiritual mentor told me that, a, what, a month or two ago? And I, I, tell, I said it on the channel. I said, well, I need to pick and choose my battles. Why? She, she said, no, there is no battle. Who told you that you were in a battle? That battle is in your mind. You met these people when you, like I said, gullible, naive. You didn't have the same type of backbone that you have now. If you met these people in your life now and they tried to do this stuff, even your friends and family, you would dismiss them so quick. You'd be like, are you serious? Half of the people that are from your past that a lot of people want to make amends with or they're wondering what's going to happen, if you met them right now and they were in the same energy that they were in when you first met them, you probably wouldn't have ever gotten past hello. It would have been a hello, a goodbye. Hi and bye. That was it. So why, why hold on to the pain, the rejection, the bitterness? All I can say is, is find it in your heart to have some kind of gratitude for what has happened. It made you who you are. That should be of great value to you. Your angels, your guides, and your ancestors, they're like, aren't you happy that we took you through this hell for you to learn? They're trying to <laughs> reward you and recognize you. And you're like, no, I want justice. They're like, well, if you would let us help you to rank up and level up, you can get all of the justice for yourself. That's another thing. People are always looking, well, I need my spiritual team to do this. You have the power to do what all of your angels, guys, and ancestors can do. When you recognize that you hold that power. Somebody, this is a lot of people who are just not recognizing their own power and divinity. I'm, I'm telling you what I see. The page of wands in the reverse. Yeah. Constantly being discouraged. They put the wand in your hand and you're like, no, I don't, I don't think I'm ready. New love comes. No, I don't. I don't think I'm ready for that. New opportunities. I think I need. I need more education, more cert certifications. Opportunities to travel come. Oh no, I, I think I need to cut my hair. I think I need to lose weight first. I think it's it's always I need to do this or that first. I don't need to have new love until I find out what the karmic is going to do. I'm trying to wait to figure out if, if my fake divine masculine is going to divorce their karmic before I move on with my life. Like, come on. 
just wake up and live. That's all you have to do. The rest will fall in place. Trust me. Ten of Wands in the reverse. <clears throat> Beating a dead horse. Ace of Swords. Beating a dead horse. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Something here is just... It's unclear and I don't, it'll never be clear. It wasn't ever meant to make sense. It was meant to teach you a lesson with the world. That's it. Because you're the star. This situation was never meant to make sense. It was meant to put you on a path towards your actual divine purpose where you can have wish fulfillment and fully awaken. That's it. I'm t somebody is, is really missing the point. You keep trying to, why did they do this to me? Are they coming back? Are they going to apologize? Well, is it demonic possession? Did they do spell work? Did they do spell work or did their partner do spell work? Did they do spell work together? It doesn't matter what they did. They helped you to wake up. <laughs> That's all that matters. So now when you see a demon coming towards you, you know. They helped you learn how to protect yourself. Attachment versus assignment. You're worried about this person that is, att is attaching to your subconscious mind. And it's keeping you from going out helping people who God is assigning to you. God is like, I need you to teach somebody else how to avoid this type of situation you're not teaching because for some reason somebody wants to keep learning the same lesson over and over and over again remember this may not be you this could be someone you're dealing with friend family member or lover and if this isn't you and you're dealing with somebody like this i would say go after your own wish fulfillment you don't have to wait on anybody they're either going to wake up or they're not. Five of cups in the reverse. Looks like somebody is choosing to move on. It's time to just heal, forgive, and move on. You're a natural born leader. King of wands. This could be a masculine that we're talking about. There could be a masculine out here who is extremely broken hearted because they they gave their all to someone who took advantage of them. And now they can't see a divine feminine or their own self-worth or divine path, even when it's staring them right in the face. But if you don't get on this path, then you don't get the blessings that come with this path of you being a leader you don't get the rewards without taking some type of risk page of pentacles so there's good news coming in someone is going to have some kind of increase okay ten of pentacles so something's going to turn around somebody's going to wake up the hangman is here in the reverse and the empress and the Ten of Swords. So some, somebody is going to get it together. Like I said, you have two different devils out here. One person likes being in the dark. Another person is getting out of the dark. Whoever this person is that's the devil in the reverse, they're getting themselves out of something toxic, something codependent, or just a feeling of, I don't know, being helpless, hopeless, or whatever. This person is, is being free from some type of bondage. They could have had some financial difficulties. They're finally coming out of that because they're changing their mindset. And when they come out of it, this person is going to have a, a whole new life. New job, new opportunities. This part, Somebody here is going to have like a whole team of people working with them. And this person could be working with students this this person somebody here is a teacher 
They're going to teach a lot of people or they're going to be giving back to like schools or universities, community centers or something like that. And that's the reason why someone's test trials, tribulations is so important because it's going to be a part of your purpose. 10, 10 here, 10 of Pentacles and the 10 of swords. The worst is over. This feeling of defeat is finally coming to an end. But somebody has to stop being bitter. Stop complaining. This Ten of Swords, though, is, is also somebody being down so bad that they just can't cope with what has happened. That's what I'm saying. It's like someone doesn't know how to cope. That's why I say you, somebody needs like cognitive behavioral therapy. What do you do when you shut down? What do you do when you feel like you're hopeless or you're helpless? Somebody needs to learn how to create, how to manifest, how to get themselves out of this stuck, stagnant energy. How to stop being stagnant or detached. How to nurture and be nurtured, how to love and be loved. I always say you got to love like you've never been hurt before. That's the only way you're going to survive. Because there will always be things in this life, in this world that will hurt you. They can turn you cold. That's what the enemy wants you to do is to turn cold. So the people who say, I, I just won't forgive anybody. And those are the people who don't move forward. Somebody's life is changing though. The death card, the cherry, and the temperance. It's a trans spiritual transformation. Something that came in to, to kill you. It's going to literally lead to a major rebirth. It's a lot of endings, a lot of releasing, but it's purity, it's peace, it's balance, it's harmony being restored in someone's life so that they can actually have success and can move forward. But this requires the willpower to say, okay, I'm, I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of being heartbroken. It's like beating a dead horse with heartbreak. Aren't you just tired of your heart being broken? And the crazy part about it is a lot of people walking around with a broken heart and they're single as a Pringle. Single. Heart shattered. You would think heartbreak is like you're actively being used and abused and, and hurt. And no, it's just that one heartbreak. People just can't get over it. When you get over that, the rest of the world and your life will open up to you. And I feel strongly that I'm talking to, if you're like a divine feminine, this reading seems like it's very much for a divine masculine that's going through a dark night of the soul. There's a divine feminine who possibly is trying to be patient this is for a real divine masculine not a toxic karmic like i said we have a devil and then we have a devil in the reverse i feel like a divine feminine has already released a devil but you've manifested someone that's at the tail end of a karmic cycle they trigger you because it scares you into thinking that they're going to be just like the person that you did everything to free yourself from. They're not. They're not going to be like the past person, but you will have to be patient because this person, they're afraid that you're going to be like the person that broke them too. You have a man out here who had it, who had it all with somebody. They lost it all with that person. They're very afraid now to go towards a divine feminine or anyone to give them their best 
because they never want to be at a loss like this again. This person has lost their security and stability, which is very important to any man, for sure. Divine Feminine has had her heart completely shattered by somebody, and she's afraid to give her heart to someone. So you see what I'm saying about Divine Feminine and Masculines who are meant to come together and have an exchange, but because they're so afraid of the past repeating itself, they're refusing to see this death, temperance, and chariot energy that if you just allow yourself to fully process this ending and accept it, and you move forward past these obstacles that you and a person, you can actually exchange things with one another, fill each other's cup from your own full cup. But first, you have to actually purge all of these old emotions that no longer serve you. A lot of people are curious about you, but what they need to see is that you no longer have this chaos and conflict in your life. Somebody watched you for a long time and they worked very, very hard to make sure that you failed and that you didn't receive any type of offers. All somebody wanted to do. Somebody also has a psych like psychic gift of some sort. Somebody did everything to make sure that this queen of pentacles did not get with this king of cups. Because they do not want you and this person to have a happy life, a happy family, or any type of equal give and take. So someone's intuition was purposely blocked. And it's been this devil. Blocking your intuition so that you cannot move on to this prosperity and abundance. But you have now, if you take action, you go towards the sun. You're going to have to fight back. This is like, here is 8-8. Eight, eight. The sun, number 19, breaks down to the number 10. Ace of Pentacles. It's all about leadership, moving forward, travel. Hard work paying off, getting divine, clear like downloads from, from God on your own spiritual journey. And it's leading to, it's like the sun is here on this pentacle. Meaning everything that you touch, it shall grow. But you have to move on from something in order to actually have this forward movement and this action, this fast moving action to take place. And for some people, a lot of people, you're not even moving on from a physical person. You're moving, you're, you're letting go of the energy of that person because the energy of something that, that left you heartbroken and wounded, it keeps manifesting in your life. Spirit is saying it's time to just drop the baggage. The justice in the reverse. Yeah. Because of spell work, magic, strongholds, hexes, and curses. Here you have the queen of wands in the reverse. The knight of wands in the reverse. Karmic couples. Karmic exes. Yes. It has seemed almost impossible for you to manifest, but it's not. Six of Wands in the reverse. Whatever these karmic energies are trying to do, it's not going to be successful if you don't if you don't allow it to be successful. Archangel Michael is here, King of Swords, helping you to see clearly through all of the illusions so that the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups, so that you have your good fortune and you can celebrate and be celebrated. Don't miss your opportunity. Please don't miss another opportunity. Whoever this, this devil is in your life, what happens to them should, is not your business. Let God handle that. God has a new assignment for you. Your assignment is not to watch this person or, or try to monitor when karma is going to show up for them. 
trying to figure out when somebody else is going to get karma it stuck it keeps you stuck to the karmic cycle with them i'm telling you once you finally just say I, you don't care what happens to them whether they live they die they're up they're down they're sad they're mad. when you stop caring 100 percent, they cannot attach to your your psyche or your subconscious anymore they have nothing to grasp there has to be an opening for the entity to come in. You worried, you worrying about their karma and their drama, it allows them in. I keep telling you, you got to close these soul gates and portals that are being used as access points from the people who do not want you to move forward. Because it's blocking your ten of pentacles. It's blocking your finances. It's blocking your, your business. It's blocking your home life, your family. It's stopping you from having supportive loved ones surrounding you. It's, it's blocking everything. So the truth is, your own heartbreak is blocking your entire life. And again, this could be you. Or this could be someone that you're dealing with or connecting with. Whatever this new connection is, for a lot of you, it's a real twin flame. It's going to require a lot of patience. I'm not talking about you waiting for this person to choose you. This is the kind of person they're going to choose you. But healing requires patience. It's different to be patient in healing and growing and evolving with a person Versus you just waiting on a person to even choose you. Meaning the whole time that you're waiting on them to choose you, you're not healing, you're not growing, you're not evolving, you're not doing anything with them. You're only growing by yourself. While they stay in their lower vibration and just keep you hanging on to false hope. 